Hey, guys. Off to a great start. <laughs> Before I begin this video, I really want to say thank you all for watching uh, the recent animation that I've released. Yes, it's called Grown Up Tale, aka Recursive Tale now. Uh, if you didn't know, Grown Up Tale has its name change into Recursive Tale. As shown when you finish watching the animation, you can see the ooh dust and uh, effects, and oh new name, <laughs> and also the video thumbnail and the title change into From Grown Up Tale to Recursive Tale. Well, I'm here to talk a little more about. Uh, that animation because I've been so proud of it ever since because this uh, alternate universe I know I'm going back to the Undertale uh, theme of everything and even using my OC Rotus and also Sator. I'm going back mainly because I feel like I have learned animation. If you didn't know I have been uh, in a school where it's like below university a school that can get me to university. That's basically what it is. I have studied, uh, and it's, the course is called animation and visual effects, and but I choose mainly to focus on the character animation stream because I thought that I would be able to learn more about animation. And I mean, I did, but it's not mainly to the animation, which is quite sad for me. But besides that, uh, 3D modeling, very hard. But I did get to learn some um, some great things that uh, let me know how animation production is supposed to be uh, supposed to be that just show how I learn how the animation production flow is supposed to be. There we go. Coffee really helps. You should try it. Well, during that two-year phase, I'm already in year two, uh, and I'm about to be graduating from that school and getting ready to a university. An actual university. <coughs> Bravo is to me. But during the whole two years of in that school, I've learned uh, to develop a story. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but I feel like it actually, for me, that wants to do a solo project, a solo animation series project. Um, this whole entire school, the, this whole year, two year process, uh, two year course of me being in that school and learning like a bunch of things together, it really helps. I'm not supposed to learn about story development if I want to learn about character animation because I should be more focused on learning animation rather than the things that the, uh, the job of an art director or story writers something else but it's not too bad because i want to learn a little bit um i'm not very interested but at the same time i learned something so i learned story development i learned character design i've learned sound design uh composition not really i i know it's just basic stuff man. but i know something about color grading the videos and animation i mean right now i didn't even use any color grading because i feel like it's, it's fine i don't have special lighting or special effects that i need to add into this video i mean it looks pleasantly enough even though the camera is out of focus i just realized there we go now it's much better so i learned a lot um different kinds of things that is uh that would be suitable for me if i ever wanted to do a solo animation project fun fact i never considered coming back, uh, returning and remaking Grown Up Tale or Recursive Tale, whatever you call it now. I feel like I should call it Recursive Tale. This is like the whole uh, fiasco of, hey, you're transgender, so I, I it's, it feels like I am keep, keep using its dead name. I should respect that. I also respecting myself. It's called Recursive Tale now. Deal with it. I've never meant to come back and remake it because, uh, it really broke me. If you don't know what happened or why I cancelled at the first place, it's because um, I've managed to do a prologue, a, a prologue video, which is showing the. It's like a first episode. It, it, I can't really call it a prologue. I managed to do a video, uh, and I managed to do episode one um, back then. I think it's it's not even fully finished. I think I still have this uh a second part of it to be done 
uh, the key post is all done, but I haven't cleaned up the animation yet. But when I want to clean up the animation again, all my files are gone. USB broke, all my files are gone. It really, really broke me until five years later, I come back here and remade it. So yeah, it was really devastating. Five years, wow. I didn't even know it was five years. It has been five years ever since I made that video. So when I was doing the teaser trailer, it, it, it really surprised me. It's like, wow, five years ago. God damn, that, that really broke me that much, huh? Another fun fact, did you know the teaser trailer was made in only one day? <laughs> I, I plan to do a teaser trailer for quite a while, but I never know how to make one. And then at right at the last day, well, at that time, I, I, I kind of finished the uh, episode one, but then <laughs> I, I realized that oh, I should make a teaser trailer for someone to, you know, hype them up and not suddenly just bam, grown up tail, here you go with no context whatsoever. So in just one day from 9 a.m., I planned, I, I did all the key posts, I did all the dialogues, and, well, the dialogues, I think about them at night, and then I type it all on my phone. And then from 9 a.m., I woke up naturally, naturally, I swear. I woke up naturally at 9 a.m., and then I just keep doing it. I keep doing it until it was, it was 7 p.m. when I finished the teaser trailer and I even uploaded it. So, it's, I'm, I'm just saying, it's a surprise. I didn't even know I could even finish the teaser trailer in just one day. In one full day. But enough about that. What's most important is that I, from these two years, I learned so, I learned something very important is that animation references and rotoscoping, there's they, they saved my life. The whole process of me doing episode one, I have recorded myself to do uh, animation references for myself whenever I do uh, the key posing and these all those cleanup animations <laughs> and all those stuff. And because I watch Arcane, like great 3D animation of League of Legends on in Netflix, you should totally watch it. I see animators doing references for themselves to be able to rig the character into you know, into like that. And since because I've learned about acting in secondary school, well, I didn't learn. It's just something that's built in me. It's a talent that I have that I didn't even know until I discovered it during uh, ninth grade, tenth grade, uh, uh, during the English drama club. And I was and it's like, oh, I, I could be able to do some acting. And I feel like since I'm focusing on animation, and then I see other people acting on camera to be a to be used as a reference for themselves. And you know what? Combining things together, the two things that I'm great at, phew, that's, that's like a dream come true. My group and I have uh, been doing animation references and some rotoscoping uh, footages that could be helpful for our graduation animation project. And you know what? It did well. <laughs> now that I've learned about it, and now that I've come back to try and remake Recursive Tale, <sighs> Grown Up Tale, okay, I have to remake Re Grown Up Tale into Recursive Tale, I decide to use more animation references because that's the thing that I didn't use back then. So you can see it's quite boring. They're just blinking eyes, they're just moving eye. Uh, moving moving eyes a little bit and then nothing else but then in this remake i was thinking if i'm remaking it i want to make it better so uh not only that i'm including more motions and those motions are my motions i will be acting them out to um to be able to act as a reference for myself and you can see you can see, I, I don't even know when I'm going to put those footages up on screen to let you see that, oh, here are the references that I did, and look at me, I'm, oh, I'm just, I've opened my eyes, and oh, that's, that's correlates to, oh, Rhoda's waking up, and oh, I did, just did that emotion, 
that uh, it I don't know what I'm doing. And those are animation references. The next thing I learned is sound design. And there's something I didn't know I'm very talented at too. There are lessons for me to do sound design and I learned about Foley sound design and uh, during this time I, I heavily I heavily rely on stock sound effects during this whole animation but then you can hear like uh, near the near the end of when uh, first was uh, it was a service at the home at home and then there's like there's a lot of sounds that you you just hear and you seem to I don't know. <laughs> How do you describe those? Because for me, I know, but for you guys, you don't even know. So I'll just say it. The slipper sound effects of them walking, uh, first writing sound, door closing, uh, opening, closing, grabbing on stuff, grabbing the paper, flaying the paper, all those sound effects are all recorded by myself. It's fully sound design. And <laughs> it was quite fun. I, I didn't know how fun it would be. Also, I rely on this microphone. This microphone is very nice. It can even catch up some so small, so very small sounds that even I, I put so, I put it really close to my uh, pencil and then I write, scribble around and then, oh, it, there's a sound effect. Because I'm not, I'm not just remaking an animation. Remaking an animation, making an animation is very it's hard it's really hard but if i combine with oh acting for animation reference and doing fully sound design and doing some color gradings just all these things that i love and uh, be more simpler for myself then making this series would be so much more fun for myself and well, there are some days where I took took a break and didn't really finish the key pose until yesterday. Yeah, I've been I'm working on episode two, and I just finished the key pose yesterday. But I started the key pose at twenty eighth, I think. Yeah, I took three days break, <coughs> or maybe even more than that. I I don't remember. I think it's a week, a week break from not doing the key pose and then until yesterday I managed to finish the entire key pose and then I divide it into parts so that Adobe Animate doesn't lag and the timing goes off. Honestly I never like doing backgrounds but I found a way to make myself like doing backgrounds by making it more simplified and yeah that's pretty much it for backgrounds I think. Character design. Character design is, um, is quite fun and fairly easy. I think the the one thing that I compared to myself uh, five years ago, first of all, rookie mistake, I've already like exposed how the characters is gonna look like in DeviantArt back then. I've exposed that, oh, Road is gonna break down. I've exposed how, uh, the, how he would look like when he, um, when all of this is over or near the ending, I've even exposed what the story is about, which I feel like that's not necessary at all. Because I'm supposed to, like, these things can be revealed when I finish the series. And <laughs> it's just it's just something I realized. It was like, wow, I already exposed everything. Like, wow, spoilers. It's getting dark. I really need to put on the lights. There we go. <laughs> this is big difference <laughs> well not just exposing everything but it's a um, I'm not gonna even show it for a comparison I'll, I'll just talk about it and make it seem interesting the one thing I noticed is that I have too much details I have too much details unnecessary details of um, it's just too much lines and I'll be animating the motions of the characters but then there's just so much details on either the clothes, on the arms, on the hands, or maybe even the hair, the head. There's just there's just too much and I I lower all of these details, I remove most of the details, but also showing the like the uh, slightly 
slightly still have the edginess into it. <laughs> it's not as edgy as before. The the one thing that and one thing that I really don't like uh, me doing a lot is the cracks. There's just too much cracks on the character, <laughs> and I've <laughs> I kind of lower it down a little bit it's like it's too much and also it doesn't really work that way especially when it's bones there's too much crack on bones um on the arms i don't think it would work for them so i keep something i removed a lot of cracks i remove unnecessary details that's like the power of character design that's the thing that i um i really did well on and also using color palettes um because at the sunset scene and also the and also scenes where the place is more darker or maybe lighter some places need special colors and i i make good use of uh the thing that i did <laughs> it is um i make good use of the same technique that i did for our graduation animation project um Use a use a color filter over the over the original colors of the character, and then I pick those colors out to make it the color of that scene. Not only does it make the color grading work more easier, but also it just looks nicer. And also lines. I learned that like pure black lines just doesn't look good at all. And I learned something from seeing um, uh, JK's. Underverse, their character is mainly purple, I think, and even the logo is purple. So if the main theme is purple, they use purple lines, dark purple lines for their line art. And I wanted to do the same thing. Uh, you could see that Recursive Tail um, is mainly yellow, if if you're telling me, <laughs> if you're asking me, it's mainly using yellow. So I'm using a dark orange yellow kind of browns to as for their line art. So it does make things better. It makes it it makes the characters more blend in. And now that I have the skill to know how to use Adobe Animate, I even I even know how to add shading. I even added shading on the characters to make them make them look it's just to make them like look nicer, you know? <laughs> shading and coloring, cleaning up the animation is the most fun part for me. And then there's and then there's um uh, uh, animation references, and I'm doing color grading, doing sound effects. Um, th these are the most fun things to me. The only thing that is difficult is finding the uh, suitable music for <laughs> for the animation. Because unlike Glitch Tail and Underverse, they have uh, they paid definitely they paid musicians to compose music for them, and. I've never really worked with anyone before, so I don't know the process of telling them, oh, I want this tone, I want this mood of the music, because I don't, I really don't know how to tell them these. But most of all, I don't really have a change the currency that would be that <laughs> to change the currency the way it's, I, I just don't know how to use. I, I don't even know if I could add things to PayPal and to be able to pay them, you know? I, I'm i supposed to be paying them, but I never know how, and I, I don't, I just don't know how to do it. So for now, I'm just using, um, I'm just using some other music that if I could, if I could find some music that I feel like it was suitable, I would just be using it for now. Coffee's gone cold. I think that's all that I wanted to talk about because I, I just wanted to talk about how much how much this means to me how much recursive tell means to me uh, 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 we're not done because I haven't even tell you how I made Rota's voice because Rota's voice is uh, something that I've been I'm, I'm very proud of and that that I managed to get the voice that I wanted it was not easy making it but it works and I just really, really want to shout out. Well, it's not a shout out, but I just want to tell you that uh, thanks to this RPG dialogue generator, link is here, and also because I went on here uh, finding like saying that I wanted to create a dialogue test 
sound? How do I do it? And someone has some answers. And then linked this website here. I download it, and then I I just randomly uh, uh, use a slider to make uh, to make the make the sound that I wanted. And here's my tire face saying that it doesn't work. Does it work? And then uh, it doesn't really work at as as I was recording that voice. So I use Premiere to uh, lower the pitch a little bit more. And then we got rid of the sound and I am so proud of it and I just really want to talk about it because it, it's just something I'm proud of and I'm pretty sure everyone really wants to know how I did it as well. Uh, for Satoru's voice, it's basically just lowering more the pitch uh, from Rhoda's voice. That's all. <laughs> Alright, continue. And I, I feel bad that I gave up on it and beca because of because of losing all the files, which it, it is very devastating, but yeah, with the power of determination, I decided to remake this. <laughs> oh right, story, well, there's not much to say about the story, because I only changed things a little bit to um, not only make it shorter, but also slightly, um, slightly more sympathetic. I think, well, I don't even know if it's sympathetic, but I I tried. <laughs> story isn't writing. Story is still isn't really my thing, but if any, if everyone likes it, then it it really encourages me to keep doing it. And not just support from uh, everyone. I have support from my from my friends and also my partner. <laughs> And I just wanted to say animation reference is pretty important. <laughs> I, I just want to show off and uh, just show everyone that I'm having fun while making this series. Um, it will have six episodes, I think. Well, I I forgot. Is it six episodes? Yeah. Six episodes in total. And now that I've finished episode one, and I'm working on episode two. And also, I haven't been making videos in here for quite some time, uh, mainly because of the graduation uh, project. Uh, we finish finally during May, and I just wanted to spend some more time just going out, hanging out with friends, um, discovering myself who I am, and you know, and be more kinder to myself. Also, I'm just more focused on gaming channel because there's just more games to play and the gaming channel is just seems more easier to make videos but for this channel it just I know I say this this is my main channel but <sighs> to to think of some things to do for this channel is quite it's quite it's quite difficult it's a little bit tricky because I don't even know if it's <laughs> if it's interesting or not. But at least, at least, I I did something, which is making an animation series. But now that I have made, I'm making an animation series, that would mean I have less time on the gaming channel. So it's just a you know, it's very hard to balance things out. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, that's all for now. So I'll be tuning out to continue making the episode two. And um, hope you guys enjoy. I and thank you all for watching it and giving me support for this for this series that I that took me so long to remake it. <laughs> I'll stop that brain for now. I'll just I'll just be go. Goodbye. You're still here. There's nothing else. <laughs>